three generations, two sports, one family. That's what's transcribed at the back of this book that is about to be launched. Recently, Asif has figured quite a lot in the newspaper. His picture appears on the front page, in the middle page, at the back page. And also recently, with Paul Tergat, with half a page, more than once, and I asked myself, who is vying for the presidency of the National Olympic Committee? Is it Paul Tergat or is it Asif Karim? <laughs> but what a family. Uh, from the days when I was active in tennis, I was secretary of the Kenya Lawn Tennis Association and then the president, and I had the honor to give him the trophy, the player of the year in 1968. Asif played in Mombasa, the residence tournament he won no less than 25 times. And he won the Kale Coast Open, if I'm right, 13 times. And he also played for Kenya in the Davis Cup in Egypt. So he was proclaimed, he was almost unbeatable, not almost, he was unbeatable at the coast. And he was proclaimed as the king of tennis at the coast. That was Asif Karim, uh, Yusuf Karim. Unlike his uh, son, Asif was very modest, <laughs> was very humble, and of course very respectful, and I had a lot of time for him. Thank you, Asif. Asif took over from him, and Asif made also a mark uh, in cricket and in tennis. He was the first one to win a triple crown uh, the men's singles, men's doubles, and the mixed doubles. And in one of the matches, and if Kush Bharadwaj is here, I think he partnered him in the Davis Cup in Egypt, where Asif was hit between his knees in that very delicate part. And I believe from Kush that that is what made him go out from tennis and to prefer cricket. And as you know, in cricket, you are guarded from top to bottom. And you wear that particular uh, <laughs> guard, which is that they very politely call the abdominal guard. Now, the abdominal guard doesn't support the, the guard, the abdomen. It guards the area below the abdomen. And that apparently was the reason why Asif gave up tennis and went for, for cricket. His son, Irfan, is also a great cricketer. As you know, he holds a number of records in Kenya, and by far today is one of the best batsmen that we have in Kenya. Yusuf, I remember, played his son, the other brother of Asif, the brother of Asif, called Arif, when Arif was 16 years old, and the father beat the son. And the headline in the newspaper was, Father Beats Son which one didn't think that it was a tennis, and people took offense at the father beating the son. But a few years earlier, there was a similar headline in, with reference to Justice Cocker. Justice Cocker had taught his wife to play cricket, one of the very few Asian women. I think she was the very first one. And there was one Goan family in Kisumu who played tennis. And when he beat his wife at tennis, the headline was, Husband Beats Wife. And Justice Cocker was not at all amused with that. There's a very nice history that was given to us by Feroz. Thank you very much, Feroz. If he had more time, we would have really loved to go through much more of it. But sports has not been his forte. I don't think he's played any sport in his life. <laughs> and that was even I was asked. He said, you appear so much in various sports in Kenya. What is your sporting background? So when I was asked this by a journalist, I said, I'm not an athlete, but I have an athlete's foot. <laughs> I have a tennis elbow, not playing tennis, but playing golf. I have a ruptured Achilles tendon playing tennis. And the nose that I have, which people thought I got this crooked nose being hit when I was poking my nose in too many affairs. But that was not so. The very poor fielder that I was, I captained the Law Society of Kenya, but I was a very poor fielder. 
and I was hit here on the head, on the nose, and the following day I appeared in court with a very swollen face. And the judge asked me, are you really Rao? And I said I was, and it took a lot of convincing to tell him that it was me and not someone else. So that's how sports is in Kenya. Uh, Asif, of course, has made a mark for himself, and this effort that he has put, five years of effort, 300 pages, about 800 pictures, some 250 articles, history going back to 1827, is a marathon by itself. And if you were now looking for another sport, marathon is the answer, Asif, for you. And tell God, <laughs> that's probably we'll then have another picture of the two of you together. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to say the few words. And I wish you well in your book. And we really look forward to reading it. Thank you very much.